Good morning. Hope you all are well, or at least better than we are this morning. We woke up and it's not horribly cold outside. I mean, it's low 20s, upper teens. However, we had no water when we got up. And if you've watched one of our recent videos when the cold snap came through in December, you'll know that this isn't the first time this has happened to us. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll make sure to link it above. But anyhow, I made some changes. I was hoping that that would fix the issue. However, obviously it did not. Uh, as soon as it gets light outside, I'm gonna go out and I'll show you kind of what all we did since then to try to fix that problem. And we'll troubleshoot and figure out possibly what's wrong with it this time. So one thing we did do this time that we didn't do last time was we did leave some water in our freshwater tank. So at least this morning that has helped out some. So in case you were wondering how we were making coffee if we didn't have water, that is how. So definitely a good idea to keep some water in there. So if something like this happens, you have a little bit to work with. So back on this side is where our water filters and the water softener sit. And if you remember from that last video, I had them all open before with heat tape around them, which obviously did not work at all. So this time I have enclosed them all in styrofoam and there's a space heater in there. However, I also have the thermometer on there so I can see what the temperature is sitting inside there. And when I came out this morning, it was down in the 20s inside there. So I think I have an issue with that space heater. I've been working with that this morning. It's on now, so we'll see. Don't know for sure if that's the issue, but right now, that is my hunch. It's running now. Hopefully, that'll thaw those out and we'll be good to go. So I still want to check the rest of the setup to make sure that that is for sure the issue. All right, starting from the beginning, we can see that the temperature inside the pump house is at 39 degrees, so we are good there. I've come inside for a minute to let my fingers warm up, but while I'm in here, I'll go over one other thing that we've done in here since that last video to help with the cold weather. Since then, we've installed our Dometic 12 volt fridge because in that last video, our absorption fridge just would not work whenever the temperatures got cold. So we had to have a workaround for that. So we decided to go ahead and go with the 12 volt fridge and we just installed it this weekend. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put it up above. But anyhow, we're still working on getting all the temperature settings the way we want them. But at this moment, I would say it's working great. All right, so previously, on our hydrant, we just had the heat tape around it along with the heated hose, but we didn't have anything covering it to insulate that, which we figured out real quick that that didn't work. So since then, I have insulated the main pipe over the top of the uh, heat tape, as well as put this insulated cover over the top. So hopefully that's doing it. Now, what I can check is, I do have a hose in here that's completely drained out, that's on a Y. So we can see if there's water coming through it. So we'll make sure that the hydrant's not froze. And it feels awful warm up there, so I would assume it's not. All right, so we do have water there, so we know that that's not the issue. So I do want to mention a couple other things that we've changed since that last cold snap that wouldn't necessarily affect this current situation, but they're still worth mentioning. First off, inside this pump house, if you remember on that last video, we had completely shut the water off and drained everything out of the well, or at least we thought. When we finally flipped the breaker to turn everything back on, we realized that all of the PVC pipes inside this pump house had busted. And so we had water everywhere. I contacted the well company. They came back out and realized that there wasn't a low point drain installed on this PVC pipe. So they replaced all that, installed a low point drain, 
So now I know that whenever I do drain all that out, I need to drain the low point drain inside as well. So that is now fixed. So in the future, we'll be doing that. Another problem we faced back in December was that the pipes in the bathroom froze up. Even though we had water in the rest of the rig, just this bathroom side froze, which is on the north side, so it's somewhat understandable as well. However, we did also just see a video from Jared Gillis with All About RVs, where he was saying that the low point drains need insulated if it gets really cold because they can transfer that cold air up into the pipes, which our low point drains are right in this area between the frame and this outside piece. So what I did was put a styrofoam box and kind of built that up between the frame and this outside piece so that it will insulate not only the low point drains, but this whole side right here from any cold that could come up under. And if you're wondering how I dump my tanks now that I've closed off all this bottom piece, well, luckily ORV has these nice little portholes that I can still reach in here and get to the tank levers. Well, I think I've done about all I can do right now. So now it's just a waiting game to see if that heater down below heats up that water filter and the water softener and gets the water running again. So it's about 9.40 in the morning now. So hopefully in the near future, we'll have water again. All right, well, it's about noon now and still no water, but I think I may have figured out what the issue is. See, these heated hoses have the thermostat on one side. I believe that this long one has the thermostat on the side that is now inside that heated box. So it is not allowing the hose to kick on. So I have a feeling that I'm probably thawed out inside that box, but now frozen somewhere between here and over there. So I'm gonna go try to get that hose off of that end. And I think there's actually a way that I can flip flop it. So I'm gonna go play with that right now and see if I can get that to work. All right, so no water out of the hose, water's on. So that does seem to be the case. So I'm gonna try to plug this in and see if I can get it to thaw out. All right, so come to find out, I was correct about the hose. Once I got that thermostat out of the heated little box over there, it worked fine. However, I got to thinking about this for a little bit and plugging this hose in over there by the well or by the pump house is not gonna be a good idea. For the simple fact that this hose pulls probably 500 watts or a little bit more the heater that's over in the pump house probably pulls, well, 13, I've got it set on 1300 watts. And then there's still the heat tape over there as well. And so with this extension cord that I have run probably 100 foot over there, that's 18 amps or so probably. Well over 15, put it that way. So yeah, that's not gonna be a good idea from a electrical perspective. So, safety first i'm going to unhook all this stuff pull down the water softener and the filters take all that stuff inside fill the fresh water tank again and like last time we will reevaluate when it gets warmer Good morning, a couple days have passed and with that the cold weather as well. So that is wonderful. Today it's supposed to be in the 60s, which is gonna be great. However, that's not gonna last very long. The good thing is that it does give us an opportunity to go ahead and fix a couple things and try to get ready for the next cold front to come through. The foam box idea underneath the trailer, unfortunately was our last ditch effort to get the water softener to work in the winter. So since that failed, 
We've removed the foam box and the water softener has gone to storage, at least until it gets warmer out. However, the water filter system is in its own insulated box. So I believe all we need to do is put some heat tape on the inside of here, and then we can actually put this out here with the heated hoses, kind of as we had it before. So now the only thing we should have left to do is to reinstall this heated hose and hook it back up to the filters. A little windy so I'm trying to stay tucked in here to block the wind a bit but I think I've got everything hooked back up I think we're in good shape fingers crossed we don't have another frozen water episode before the end of the winter but I think we're good so that's a plus it is early February still so I'm sure we have a couple cold snaps left but I think we've done everything we can and should be in good shape that being said Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up below, subscribe if you aren't already, and we will see you in the next one.